you know, we, got, we still have room for improvement. You know, we have to continue to mature, you know, eliminate the mistakes. And um, I believe we left about 87 yards on the field uh, worth the penalties. So, you know, we just want to be more disciplined. But overall, the performance, you know, the guys came out and, you know, they played relentlessly. And that's something you can't coach effort. Individually, yourself? I felt that I, I had a pretty solid day. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm my worst critic. So, you know, I didn't grade out how I wanted to grade out. And um, I'm just going to continue to try to improve my game. When you have guys as wide open as they were sometimes, is, is that sort of an indication of how sophisticated this offense is and how hard it is for everybody to, to be, for a defense to cover everybody? Oh, yeah, of course. And, um, you know, those guys, they do a great job of just playing in detail. You know, we have pictures in our books of how the routes are supposed to look. And if you turn, if you turn on the tape, you know, those guys are <clears throat> making their routes look just like the drawings. <laughs> That's, that's been one of Coach Watson's buzzwords lately. Like, we wanted to look like the Trojans. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, how much fun is it to be quarterback in this offense with so many weapons and running backs, receivers, tight ends? Oh, it's a ton of fun. And um, I kind of see it as, you know, a little kid in a candy store. <laughs> you know, it's hard to just pick one, one, one flavor of candy. <laughs> And, you know, you have Devontae Parker, Damian Copeland, Eli Rogers, Robert Clark, and the list goes on and on. And it's just so hard, you know, to you know, like, choose just one guy when you're dropping back. So I'm just glad we have a system where, you know, we go through progressions and if one isn't there, two is there, and then a check now. So you know, it's, a, it's a ton of fun, though. So what's your favorite kind of candy? Uh, Hershey cookies and cream. <laughs> is it really? Okay. <laughs> How difficult is it to stay focused this week when you've got an opponent that's probably going to be outmatched? That's not difficult at all. You know, um, if you respect the game, then you know your focus should never shift, no matter who you're playing. You should always respect the game and respect your opponent. And about Corbin going down, what uh, what were your thoughts on that? When, when did you find out? Uh, I actually found out right before I came on the practice field, and uh, you know it hurt me personally because you know Corbin and I are very close, and. Um, you know, it's, it's just tough that things like that happen in, this, in the game. But, um, you know, we're going to continue to just, you know, keep him in our spirits and just, you know, pray for a speedy recovery for him. How do you guys, I mean, you move up in the poll, so much social media, as Coach was talking about today, that can be the downfall of a team. How do you not think about it? How do you not worry about what people are saying about you guys? That's simple. You know, um, you don't believe the, you know, the, the noise, you know, in the system. You know, you, you just take what you hear in house. You know, take what our coaches feed us, because uh, we know that, you know, it's easy for someone to praise you, but you know, at the same time, those same people can, you know, make you fall. So, you know, we just continue to just know who we are and trust, you know, our coaches and trust ourselves. And you know, 